Hi folks, this is Brian, aka B-Funk Phenomenon. In this snippet, I'm going to roll you through a riff called Confunctionalide and zoom in on the principles behind it. So, without further ado, let's get into some Confunction. So before I zoom in on the riff itself, I would like to point out how important it is to not just focus on the skates. If you don't pay attention to what's going on with the hips and the upper body, then you are really missing vital keys and cues to get things smooth and fluently. If you ever get stuck with executing a pattern or a sequence of movements, it is most likely you are neglecting the upper body, or you're not involving the upper body enough and work from your center to get a nice continuing flow. One of a few things to consider is the arms, for instance. If you let them hang down or allow them to swing uncontrollably and thus incoherently and not conducive to your movements, they will send out a noisy signal to your brain, making it harder for your brain to deal with incoming information and send out clear instructions. Now, as for these ladies in this snippet, they were executing this riff for their very first time, and they are doing a pretty good job. So let's take a closer look at what's going on. The riff is basically a light version of the original Confunction riff published back on May 5, 2019. Both versions have strong elements of the basic grapevine pattern and they are both designed to expand the technicality of the grapevine and give it a broader spectrum of application. The initial Confunction riff has some turns included. So to connect the grapevine technique to not only more funkiness, but also make it more functional. So, that explains the name. And the riff I'm discussing in this snippet is, as I already mentioned, a light version, meaning I cut out all the turns and added an inbound drifting element on count number five. To give you a better perspective, I'm gonna switch to another session and count along with the sequence. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. A riff, or any sequence for that matter, really comes to life when you start combining counts. In the learning system I developed, I consider the two count stage on the ladder of progression pretty much the most important stage in the whole learning cycle. Just now, when I was counting along, I was at the first stage. One motion, one count. Now let's see how the two count stage pans out when we apply it to this confunctionalite. Right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The two count stage allows you to really internally connect with the movements while at the same time expanding your focus to full body coherence and controlling your center of mass. When you are constructing your own riffs, it is also in this stage where you can experiment with different variations. When you at any point notice that two counts don't feel right, you can add or delete something. It may change the riff you initially had in mind, but that's not a bad sacrifice in order to keep your flow fluent. Thanks. 
I know, it's tempting to go full tempo, in full flow, in a short amount of time, with long sequences of movements. But the risk of building in sloppiness and developing a lot of dysfunctional habits or compensation patterns is not worth it at all. And besides that, sloppiness can easily lead to serious injuries and trouble that you might not get rid of that easily. The funny thing is, when you can accept slow progress, you will be surprised how fast you will adapt and experience amazing progress. All you need is a good training program and the right knowledge. For good, solid, verifiable knowledge really adds value to your skill. Speaking of knowledge, feel free to check out the download shop on my website. You can find detailed explanatory videos, check sheets, and there's some cool free stuff coming up soon too. One of the next topics available for download is the full explanation of the ladder of progression as mentioned and shown in this video. It's a really helpful tool to construct your own training program. Included in this confunctionalized riff, the technique on count number six is a technique I refer to as the radial turn. And it so happens to be that I devoted an entire explanatory video on this particular technique, which is already available in the download shop. So if you want to upgrade your skills safe and effectively with intelligent cues, make sure to check it out. So, I want to thank everyone participating in this video. That's Daisy, Marielle, Cunera, Jana, and Mike. They have shown amazing progress, and I hope to show the world more of them in 2022 and beyond. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and catch you on the next one. Yeah.